What's up guys welcome to another video this is episode number one in our tech out of a Airstream Basecamp RV so uh, again this doesn't have to be an Airstream this can be any RV any um, you know basically any system with tires you could put this uh, system here what we're going to feature this is the first item in our tech out okay this is a TPS better known as the tire pressure uh, temperature monitoring system okay so you're gonna get everything um, in the system so this actually is gonna do eight tires what you see right here so we're gonna we're gonna monitor the spare um, I have two now it's gonna gonna vary you might have more than one I have one axle on my Airstream so I'm you know one axle equals two tires so I'm gonna do the two tires and the spare on my RV and then my towing vehicle of course has four and a spare so we're going to do those five so it's a total of eight tires that we're going to monitor so let's take a look now I want to do a shout out for um, truck system technologies right here these guys right here I'm gonna have a link for this I'm gonna have a link to their website in the show notes be sure to go check them out um, they did uh, provide the show uh, this for the series so um, we're gonna unbox it we're gonna look at its features and then we're gonna go set it up and you're gonna see it in in person live doing what it should be doing so let's go ahead and take a look at the box as you can see here tire monitoring system this is a six sensor um, set TST 507 RV 6C with repeater included the repeater is there so you don't lose signal to your tow vehicle all right, because it's going to be behind you. You know, you don't want to have uh, to lose sense, you know, uh, signal there, and then you're driving, and you're like, oh, I, I don't know what my tires are doing. So it's got a repeater, so that's going to help you keep that signal to your tow vehicle, which is, you know, really, really good. New brighter color display with dedicated spare tire positions. Awesome, and it monitors, monitors tire pressure and temperature in real time, and that's exactly what you want. You want to know if you start seeing pressure drop then you know you have run over something and you're losing air and if you have a blowout if you have a flat while you are towing a camper an RV whatever you're towing a trailer then thing bad things can happen so you want to be on the advanced being proactive pull over before bad things happen and then you can tend to it okay that that's the whole point here is you want to prevent bad things happening Increased safety through tire pressure and temperature awareness, visible, audible, and textual alerts. Ability to monitor up to 115 tires, 1 through 218 PSI. Got you covered, man. That is awesome. So let's flip it over on the back. As you can see here, what's in the box? There you go. You get your 3.5 inch diagonal display. Uh, you have your, um, looks like maybe your repeater your sensors, a little uh, mount, and another little mount, uh, suction cup and dash mount. So you've got that, and then the repeater and the installation components. Easy installation for use on rubber or metal valve stems. Um, I think that covers everybody. Um, I don't know if you have porcelain uh, or something else, pottery, I don't know. But that should cover you. So let's go ahead, pop it open, take a look what's in the box, and then get out and let's install this bad boy and look at it in action. All right, there we go. Instructions. Boom. So we have the instruction manual. A sticker. A warranty. Color display. Nice little color display. The sensors. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Yep. And you're wondering what the sensors look like? They're there. They're just screw-ons. Okay. Now, uh, some stickers. One one question is, are these secure? Right. So that's something we're gonna find out. Um, if can somebody just come along and just unscrew these and take them, right? One of your questions, I'm sure, right? Uh, got some actual power. Dash mount. A rubbery little install. This is probably for the repeater. That's it. 
okay? Everything in the box. Now, now I said we're going to cover eight, but we got six. Here's a little addition, a little add-on, and as you can see here, it needs a specialty wrench. So I'm already answering your question here, but I will show you when we're out here installing this. You got to have a wrench, so you can't just come and unscrew them, so somebody can't steal these off of your vehicle and you're screwed, right? So there, answered your question. You do have to have a specialty tool to put these on, or at least take them off. Probably not put them on, but at least take them off. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. This has got to be the repeater right here. Probably going to be the worst part of the install. Well, unless you're crawling under and trying to do your spare. That might be the worst part of the install. So you're actually going to have to wire this up just a little bit. So it's got some power. Uh, so, and then here it is. There's your repeater. It's going to retransmit that signal so you don't lose it. And then here's your, uh, again, your tools. Got your little USB. That's power for your display, cable for it, tools. So you can see here, there's the specialty wrench. Gotcha. And then we got some specialty drop, some specialty uh, nuts to go on there, protect them. All right, so that's everything, guys. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go out. There's a little 3M uh, and repeater insert. All right, so that's everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to install this. I'll go through some of the installs. At least I'll do an install of the repeater uh, and an install of the sensors. Um, so you see that. And I'm going to mount this uh, in the truck. This is obviously to go in your towing vehicle. So you can, as you're driving, you'll be aware of everything. Um, and then I'll also do the install of the repeater uh, so you can see how that all works and then we'll do a demonstration and I'll actually leave a spare tire I'm gonna say low okay I'm not gonna I want to show you that um, maybe we can get an alert out of it um, we'll see what I can set it at but uh, I know that my spare on my RV is at 32 psi right now which is way too low um, so and this is one I just purchased so I, I Fixed the other two tires on it. I got them at 45 PSI's. Uh, torqued the lug nuts, so it's all good to go. But the spare, I left alone, so we can demo with this guy. All right, guys, so we'll be right back as we start this setup and install and demo. All right, guys, so we're out here to install a sensor. I've marked it sensor 13. And, uh, Here's the display, hopefully you can see it. Maybe I'll lift it up here a little bit. So, just so you can see, there's a 40 PSI, and then the, t the tires are blinking, there's a 39. Now when it gets to this one, it should say zero. Just a sec, it should be this one on top. There, so it says zero PSI's. So it's not installed yet. So obviously there's the valve stem, there's sensor 13. This is the way it's set up. You can see the gaps. That means those are the tires I've programmed. So let's go ahead. Let's see how sensitive these are. So we're gonna get our gauge going here. Okay. Zero. Let's take a reading. Forty point five psi's. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna install this guy. So we're going to basically uh, put this hex nut on Maybe behind the camera not so easy. Let's see if I can do this I really need to hire a camera crew All right, I'll pause it. I'm gonna put this on. We'll be right back Okay There we are hex nut just on as tight as you can manually do it. So then we're gonna Install sensor 13, which is the back right. And we're just going to screw it on. You'll hear air hiss. And then screw it as tight as you can. Now, let's see if it actually registers yet. Okay, ready? 39. 
Um, I gauge said 40 and a half. This is 39. So close. So then once you do this, basically use this tool and you're just going to do the anti-theft thing and get this and you just screw it on behind and tighten it to the sensor. And then you've got anti-theft engaged. And this is really hard to do with one hand, so I'll put the camera down, but uh, um, that's all there is to install it when it comes to these sensors uh, on the tires. And then, like I said, it's going to start registering, and uh, I will show you all that good stuff when we get to it. But anyway, guys, that's the install of the sensor. Pretty easy, pretty simple, um, and uh, it does register real quick. So we'll be back with some more information. All right, guys, we've got them all installed. I've got it in my vehicle. I've just suction cupped it right here. It seemed like a nice little thing to do. Uh, its power is drawn off this uh, three-port USB charger that's plugged into the power port of the car. And as expected, the spares, if you can look here, I have a low pressure warning. And as it flashes each tire, as soon as it hits these spares, and you see 39 PSIs, 40 PSI is on the back right, and then once it hits the spare, boom, low pressure, 14 PSI's. Yeah, I got to uh, air up that spare. Now, the one I was talking about at the beginning of the video was actually the trailer spare, so this was actually kind of eye-opening, so when it hits that trailer spare, 32 PSI's, low pressure. So I actually have two tire warnings uh, for low pressure. Now. You do set the low pressure and the high pressure and the temperature um, based on your manufacturer's cold temperature, okay? So you want to make sure you know what the cold temperature setting should be PSI-wise or bar-wise, however you want to do it, um, and then um, program that in. So if you want, you know, give or take maybe some PSIs, you know, like mine really shouldn't go below 30 PSIs. So I set that as my low pressure warning. So if it goes below 30, I'm going to get a low pressure warning. Then it also really shouldn't go above 45 PSIs. So I set that as a high pressure warning, um, obviously. And then the temperature, you know, that give or take, whatever the temperature you want to go with. The default's like, I don't know, 100 and... I don't know, 75 degrees, I don't know what it was, but it, you know, I just left the default for the temperature. Um, so definitely really cool. Uh, so you can monitor as you tow your, your you know, like, ah, 14 PSI's, I better get that uh, aired up. Um, so definitely a cool thing. Now again, you can do four trailers. I don't know how many tow vehicles with this. Um, you saw at the beginning how many tires it can do. Now as you can see in this program, the first thing you want to do is actually use their stickers and label your sensors. Yeah. Um, so like this is sensor one. This is like sensor two. And it's done by axle. So, you know, you might have more than one. You might, you might have a dually or something like that. So when you're in here setting the low pressure, it's done by axle. So you don't actually set it by tire, which is kind of cool. Um, so like on the trailer, I think it had three wheels per axle as a max. Now I only have two, so I have one axle with one one on each side, so that was pretty easy to set. And obviously these are the spares. It does actually do a temperature, so you know it says 72 degrees, that's just your ambiance temperature. Uh, it does do uh, lighting, and it has some motion detectors in it, and uh, lighting detectors, so it does backlight, you know, if it's dark out, it doesn't want to blind you, or if it's light out, it gives you a little more um, light so you can see it. Uh, so definitely cool. Now, we'll touch on the repeater. That's the last piece to get installed. Um, and uh, I will remediate these in the meantime so we can see if this little alarm here goes away. You can see it right there. Um, so I will actually uh, air these up, the spares. So I will air them so they stop warning. And then I'll have to monitor it and see if I actually do have a leak in a spare. But uh, that is the TST, TPS, and, you know, warning system or monitoring system. Um, and uh, so far, really impressed. High quality stuff. 
Uh, and uh, again, my trailer, I'm going to know if I'm towing. I have any problems proactive-wise. And it does give you different alarms, not just low pressure. It might say fast leak. Um, and that'll alarm you. And it'll give you like verbals and uh, set up like that so you know, look, hey, I got a fast leak. Uh, and if it's a slow leak, obviously it'll tell you, and it's a low pressure, uh, you know, going in, I already know I have a low pressure, um, and it will, you know, tell you the different types of, uh, alarms and stuff. Be sure after you get these installed, stow your little wrench somewhere very handy. Um, you get a couple of these, so like maybe in the tow and the trailer, put one, uh, so, you know, maybe if you've dropped off the trailer or something and, uh, if somebody needs it, then it's in the trailer, uh, because without this, you're not going to get those sensors off to air up your vehicles or your tires. So uh, definitely a key part. Don't lose your, your wrench, you know. And then I would keep your sticker packs. Uh, you get some spare O-rings, um, spare little washer types that go inside of the um, sensors. Uh, so definitely keep all that stuff. Do not misplace it. I'd actually keep the manual also in the tow vehicle um, in case you have any problems with the system or anything like that. You've got it. Anyway, guys, we'll be back with the repeater and some wrap-ups, and we'll be right back after a bit. All right, guys, so we've remediated the spare tires, and as you can see, I have no alerts. Uh, it's giving me the individual temperature of each tire and the PSI. That is the toe spare. That is the left axle, right axle of the actual trailer. Now it's more in direct sun, so you can see the temperature is a little higher. The spare, only 90 degrees of the actual uh, trailer. Now this is back on the tow vehicle. So this is the driver left, driver right. Now mind you, this tow trailer, or tow vehicle, did just go out. So you can see 91, 104. I don't know why the left rear is a little cooler than all the others. And then there's the spare of the tow vehicle at 88. So again, we've remediated all of the um, issues for the spares. It's not showing any alerts, so we are good to go. And that's what you exactly wanted to see uh, after you remediate that. So you can keep monitoring your, your, your tires as you tow, be alerted for anything, you know, slow leaks, quick leaks, stuff like that via the system. So you're really good to go. Now, I do want to touch upon the repeater. Um, install it towards the back of your vehicle hook into the power uh, and use utilize that repeater so you don't lose communications with one of the uh, trailers, especially the longer trailers. This one I don't have too many problems with with the no repeater basically because I've got such a short trailer, uh, an Airstream base camp obviously, so it's uh, like 16 feet long. So not that big a problem, but you start getting into the 20 feet and longer trailers, then you might want to, you know, you might lose communications with some of the back tires, even the spare depending on where it's at. Um, so definitely a good thing to have that repeater uh, set up. So as always, guys, this is the uh, you know the TPS system that we went with. You can check the show notes. I'll have links for everything there, uh, especially this system here. Very kick butt system. Highly recommend. Very expandable. Does a great job. Uh, I've used it numerous times, and I do not lose the signal um, that I found with these. I just I come back in, I plug it in, and boom. It just picks up and it gets all of them back in. Now, you know, you got to give it like three or four minutes to get every tire registering again with the correct temperature and PSI. Uh, but that's normal. It's not going to just plug in and boom, you're going to be up and running. You're going to have to wait three to five minutes, I'd say, you know, before, before embarking on your journey if you want to see what they are at before you actually leave. So uh, just heads up there. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video uh, in this series, please give it a like, a share. Many more to come. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. Take care.